welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I've got a cleaning video for you. It's been such a long time since I did a cleaning video. I will link my last one in the description box below, but it's literally been a very long time. Um, I didn't clean up last night before going to bed, so my house is a wreck. Yesterday was my husband's birthday, so we did a lot of, you know, celebrating, dinner, cake, all of that, and then we also, um, after we put the kids to bed, he and I had a, sort of like a date night in, and we watched a movie, and then I went to bed, because my kids are testing um, this entire week, and so because of their testing, I've been waking up early to make them like big breakfasts instead of just the normal quick stuff that we have. So I, you know, I wanted to go to bed and make sure I got up on time. And because of that, my house has suffered. The entire house is a mess between baseball and dance and Girl Scouts and everything we had going on yesterday on top of my husband's birthday. It's just a wreck. So I figured today I should do a power hour. Um, I have never done one of these before, but I'm super excited to do one. And this is kind of a thing that I've done before where I just, you know, give myself a certain amount of time and say, by this time you need to be done. And if you're not done, well then you finish at another time. So it's great that they that there is an actual name for it called the power hour and it gives you a time limit. Um, I usually give myself like 45 minutes, but I'm going to start in my kitchen because it is a disaster. I will pan the camera and show you guys the mess that is my home. So um, this is real life. This is real mom life. I'm busy. I have a ton of things going on right now on top of finishing school and everything else. So it's just, you know, sometimes cleaning up has to take a back burner to spending time with my family and my husband. So with that being said... Let's get this power hour started. A timer for one hour. Your timer is set for one hour. So to get started, I'm just going to clear off all my countertops, spray them down and wipe them. And I am using the Mrs. Myers Clean Day and the Peony scent to wipe everything down. <laughs> So since the stove top is extra dirty, I'm going to use the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Dish Soap in the Rosemary scent and this walnut scrubber sponge that I get from the Grove Collaborative. If you don't know what the Grove Collaborative is, it's a scheduled delivery service that provides eco-friendly and non-toxic products safe for the family and the household. And I just love the fact that I don't have to worry about going to Target or anything like that to pick up my cleaning supplies. And these cleaning supplies work so well. I'm a really big fan of the Mrs. Meyer stuff just because it smells so good. And they're made with essential oils and plant-derived ingredients. So they smell amazing and they don't irritate your skin, which is great for me because I have really dry skin. Like I said, you're going to be seeing a lot of Mrs. Myers products because I'm just a huge fan of them right now. 
I used the Mrs. Meyers hand soap and the honeysuckle scent to wash my hands so that I could go ahead and put my dishes away and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash the dirty ones and I am using the dish soap in rosemary scent again and this removable head um, dish brush which works really well and I love and if you are a new customer to the Grove and you click the link down below um, and spend $20 you will get a Mrs. Meyers hand soap, Mrs. Meyers hand lotion, Mrs. Meyers dish soap and this replaceable head dish brush for free and if you're an existing customer you get a Grove Walnut Scrubber Sponge which is what I'm using to scrub my dishes right now. Now that I've got all those dishes washed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and just give my sink a quick cleanup. I do have this pot that I'm going to leave in here to soak just because it's got some stuck on grime and I will come to it later on today. And because I don't wanna have all these dishes on the countertop and I really just wanna have a nice clean kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and dry them all up and put them away. Usually I would just let them dry and let the kids put them away when they get home from school but they will be able to unload the dishwasher, which is also currently running from the night before. The towel that I'm using here is also from the Grove Collaborative. Their stuff is very inexpensive, but you will not have a problem getting to $20 if you're a new customer because they have such great stuff, great quality, and great prices, so you'll get a big bang for your buck. for the dreaded floors. My floors are disgusting, as you can tell. So I am going to just sweep them up really quick and then I'm gonna give them kind of a quick mop. Um, I have a regular mop that I would usually use in here, but I'm just gonna use this mop and I'm using the Method Spray um, and Clean bottle. It does not have that in there. It actually just has a multi-purpose cleaner that I'm trying to use up. And as you can see here, my mop actually broke in the middle of me using it. I usually just use this in on the wood floors, um, but it actually broke, so I do need to get a new one. And I'm just kind of giving a quick clean over of the floor, and you will see that I decide to just get my old Swiffer and connect one of the little pads to it to kind of just scrub up the rest of the floor since that mop broke, and I will put the carpets back down and that is good enough for me for today. The kitchen looks good and I am happy with it. to the dining room. The dining room kind of just catches a lot of clutter for us. 
It seems to be that everybody just puts everything on all the different surfaces in the dining room. I've got my computer desk in there, which is actually where I sit and edit videos and do schoolwork. And then I've got this little shelf here that I keep my nice china on and it just accumulates a lot of stuff along with the table. We just seem to put everything there. There's my husband's birthday candles from the day before. And so I'm just gonna clean off all the surfaces. You will see that I do not touch the window seat. It does have a lot of clutter on it, but that is just because the stuff that's on it is actually bags of stuff for my Girl Scout troop bridging ceremony, which I am working on. And it is all the stuff for the goodie bag. So I'm just leaving it there for this cleaning because I'm actually gonna work on it over the weekend and get all those goodie bags filled and everything. And now onto my computer desk. As you can see, it is just full of stuff. I've been super busy, but I'm trying to keep up with keeping it nice and clean, as you will see at the end of this clip. But I'm just gonna gather all the trash and just put everything in its spot and get everything back to where it goes so that I can have a clear workspace and a clear head while I'm working there. I'd mention here that that little rack you see in front of the bookshelf is actually just a drying rack and I had washed a bunch of bibs while I was cleaning the kitchen so I hung them there just so that they could dry so I had to leave them there because they were still wet but they did get put away later that day All right guys, so the timer actually went off already, um, but the baby woke up, so I had to get him up, get his diaper changed, get him a bottle, get him dressed, and all of that, so I ran out of time. So what I'm gonna do is I just have to do like a quick cleanup of the living room and just put everything in its place. I vacuumed it yesterday, so I'm not gonna do like a, like I'm not gonna vacuum it or anything like that. So I'm gonna give myself like 10 minutes and get that done, and then move on with my day, and I'll be done with my cleaning for now. To wipe everything down in the living room, I use the Mrs. Myers Clean Day in Lemon Verbena. It's my favorite scent and I also have a room spray in that scent that I spray in the living room. So that's why you see a different bottle. All right guys, so that is it for my power hour. <laughs> it, I got it interrupted because mom life but uh um i did get all of the dining room living room and kitchen cleaned up i have to do laundry so i'll probably sit down and fold that i'll probably do it later to be honest um after my husband has gone to work and the kids are in bed i'll probably just sit there and fold the laundry and just kind of take a break 
because I got to get some schoolwork done right now, so <laughs> I don't really have time to do it now because um, I've got to get schoolwork done and then I've got like a long list of things I've got to do. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye, guys. <laughs>